Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to be praying for the fruit of the spirit called patience, as we'll be reading from the book of Genesis chapter 25, verse 19 to 21. I'll read Romans 15 and verse 1. Genesis 25, 19 to 21. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. Romans chapter 15 verse 1 We then who are strong ought to bear the struggles of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, today we're talking about passion as a fruit of the Spirit. Passion is not just the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good standard, a good record, good attitude while we are waiting. Everybody needs this fruit of the spirit called patience everybody because we need patience in every area of our lives we need patience in our studies we need patience in our relationship with god in our relationship with man we need patience in our job site with our colleague we need patience to deal with our children, to deal with our husbands, our wives, in every area. Even when you seek, you need patience to wait for God to be healed. So this morning we're talking about a fruit that is so essential for every one of us. Not just for one person, it's essential for you and it's essential for me as well. We need, to be, we need to be patient with ourselves because if we give up in the battle, then we lost the battles. So we need to be patient with ourselves. We've heard from, the book, uh, from what our sister read in the book of Genesis. Isaac prayed for the wife and it took 20 years for that prayer to be answered. So, what we do in the course of our waiting is what is important. If we look at the situation of Job, the sickness he found, in, the, the situation he found himself, the sickness and all the calamities that happened to Job, the Bible makes us to understand that the same testimony that God gave to Job, at the, at gave about Job from, at the beginning of his calamity was the same testimony he gave at the end of his calamities. He called Job a righteous man. He was holy. He was a man of integrity, a pure man. And at the end, Job did not disappoint God. So we need to be patient with God. Job understood that these things, they only happen for a season. We cannot get anything in a hurry. Everything you get in a hurry is a disaster. We need to be patient. We need to be patient. We, and we need to ask for the grace to be patient. You know, if you look at the, the life of Jesus, or you look at the stories that we have been hearing since when we were born, at our tender age till now, two years, three years, 10 years, 20, 30, 50, 100, and we keep hearing Jesus is coming soon. And some people are even tired of waiting. Some want to prepare when, maybe when they see him coming. And the Bible says he will come like a thief. Nobody will see him. There is no room for preparation. So even at that, we need grace to prepare. So during this time of preparation, what are you doing? What are we doing? Are we preparing and waiting in the right way? 
are we having are we having this true relationship with him can he say that we actually we waited rightly so this morning those are the things we really want to ask for the grace to be patient is what we want to ask from god the grace to be patient remember thomas edison it was not once that he once that he just you know put all the electron and the light came on no 999 times he failed and the 1,000th time is when he succeeded some of us give up even at the second trial third trial one failure is enough to throw us off on balance so we need to ask God for grace because the, bad, the, the, the victory is not in our giving up. The victory is, the victory is in us enduring to the end. So that patience is something we need to ask for. So this morning, I just want us to ask for the grace to be patient. Grace to be patient. Patient with God to do those things we'll be requesting from Him patient with man, patient with our neighbors, the grace to be patient with ourselves as well. That God will release that grace to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, release the grace to us, O oh Father, to be patient in the name of Jesus. Give us that grace to be patient in all circumstances, in all situations, in every movement we make, in every step we take. Give us the grace to be patient, to diligently wait on you. Release that grace to us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord for grace to be patient with your children. Some of us are already giving up on them. We don't pray for them anymore. We just say, oh no, this one is already a waste. Those dreams you have for those children, they can still come to pass. So I just want you to pray this morning for that child. Just tell the Lord, Father, I will not give up on this child. Give me the grace to be patient until I see the transformation that will take place on this child. In the name of Jesus. Some of us will give us giving up on our wives, our, our husband. Just ask the Lord to give you grace because there is still room for a change if God is involved. There is still room for transformation if God is involved. So just ask the Lord, Father, release the grace for me to be patient in everything with my husband, the grace to be patient with my wife. Release it to me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ask him and I know he will do it. He has never failed us and he will not fail us now. Just ask him the grace to be patient without your brother, without your sister. The grace to be patient with your colleagues at work. The grace to be patient to wait for God even in that sickness. Some of us in the course of waiting for God to respond, waiting for divine intervention, we go doing things that will even remove God on the way that will remove God on that problem. Some of us will visit the native doctor, will visit all kinds of things, will say all kinds of things that will already automatically cut God. So I just want you to pray that God will give us that grace, will give you that grace, you know, to, to, to wait and to wait with a rightful attitude in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Even in our studies, we need the grace of God. We need that grace of God. We need to be patient. Patient in studying. Diligent in opening all the pages on our books. So you need to ask God for patience to sit down two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours to study. So that you will be approved before your lecturers. So we need the grace, even studying the Bible, studying any book, reading of books, achieving our purpose in life. We need the grace of God to diligently go into that secret place, to seek his face concerning those purpose in our lives. 
So we need that patience. We need that patience. So ask the Lord this morning to release it to us in the name of Jesus. With your classmates, the way they act, the way they behave, their actions, we need a grace to be patient with them. We need a grace to be patient with them. One of those things that we need to understand today is that if you are lost, if you are losing patience in anything or at any time in your life, just remember how God has been patient with you. How he was patient with you when you were doing those sins, when you were committing sin, when you were wearing the garment of sin, all true. And Jesus came and saved you. Save me. Remember, just remember that and know that if God can be patient with us, we ought to be patient with others as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just ask him to take away every pride and give you the grace to be patient. In the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us, O oh God, to be patient. Teach us, O oh God, to be patient. The grace to be patient. We ask for the grace to be positive. The grace, O oh Father, to be patient. The grace to be patient consistent the grace to be persistent in the name of Jesus the grace not to give up oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the grace oh Father to be calm the grace to be calm to wait for you to wait for your coming release it unto us the grace oh Father to wait diligently, patiently, intentionally, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, because we know you have answered us. We thank you because you will give us all the grace, oh Father, to be patient in every area of our lives, in our dealing with you and in our dealing with the, our fellow men. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we want to appreciate you for the grace you have given unto us to pray this morning. Father, may your name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. As we have said in your ears this morning, Father, Lord, we pray you grant unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us the grace to be patient in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us the grace to wait and to wait with the right attitude in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us the grace to be diligent in everything we are doing in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And let your name be glorified in Jesus' Amen. name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen.